Hi everyone, good evening. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about VMware Cloud Foundation in short form VCF. Before understanding the VCF definition, key features and benefits, first we'll talk about uh, one of the key point is what are the marketing leading VMware core components? And then I will explain you what is VMware Cloud Foundation and what are the key features of VMware Cloud Foundation? And finally, what are the key benefits of VMware Cloud Foundation? And this is the icon for a VMware Cloud Foundation. So let's start with the market leading VMware core components. This point, hope everyone already aware. So as we know, the main core components are compute, storage, and network, and cloud automation and operations. Within these four towers, VMware already leading in the compute server virtualization, which is vSPA. And when it comes to the server storage virtualization or so software defined storage, VMware have a virtual SAN product. And for networking perspective, for network virtualization or network hypervisor, and or in other words, software defined networking, VMware introduced the network virtualization product name is NSX. In our previous, we have NSXV only for virtualization, and later on they introduced NSXT transformers. Now, recently, again, VMware renamed NSXT to VMware NSX, and the version is latest version is 4.0. And when it comes to the cloud automation and operations, VMware introduced vRealize suite, and recently again vRealize name is changed to ARIA. So for cloud automation, we are using ARIA automation. For operations, we are using ARIA operations. Or we can use complete ARIA suite. It consists of all these components. Okay, and when we see as per the survey results, uh, IDC, Forrester, and all, most of the analysts confirm that vSphere is the number one in market share, and even Virtual SAN is number one in HCI share. So HCI means hyper hyper converged infrastructure. Okay, and NSX also considered as a number one in SDN vendor. So SDN means software defined networking vendor. And ARIA also comes under the cloud management platform, number one in market share. Okay. And not only number one, even so many customers are already using around 4 lakh customer, 4 lakh plus customers are using vSphere. And 25K plus customers are using Virtual SAN. And even 13K plus customers are using NSX. And ARIA automation and ARIA suit is used by the 40K plus customers across the globe. OK, so this is the complete track record. Now, not only uh, when the customer is needed for a server virtualization, they will only use vSphere. They will not use the other products. Suppose any of the customer is looking for a storage solution and they want to use as a software defined storage for software defined storage or if they are anyone looking for a hyper converged infrastructure scenario we can propose two products vSPR plus virtual sun suppose any other customer they want to implement their networking in a overlay networking so during that scenario if they are looking for a software defined network we prefer the nsx that is the another scenario. And some scenarios, if the customer want to monitor the complete infrastructure, they may use vRealize operations, vRealize VR ops, or latest name is ARIA operations tool. But some cases, if the customer want to do automation for this entire environment, they may go for a automation product. So definitely each product have a separate use case scenarios. But why we are using a VMware Cloud Foundation is the main key reason is let's understand most of the customer conversation these days everyone is looking for a modern applications that means if, whenever we have any conversation with the c-level team or any of the lead application owners or leadership team most of the team all are looking for a mainly three reasons 
one main reason is cloud operating model even the on premises they are expecting a cloud like cloud based type of model like uh, private cloud or they may be looking for a public cloud that is one common these days and another scenario second scenario is most of the customers these days they are expecting a cloud native applications or in other words we can say modern applications instead of using a monolithic and tier based applications all are looking for a micro service architecture that means container based applications okay and that is a second scenario and third scenario is most of the infrastructure let's say within our infrastructure we have server virtualization storage virtualization network virtualization all our infrastructure components at the end of the day most of the time there will be latest patches and upgrades if you want to perform patches individually let's say compute taken care by server engineers storage taken care by storage engineer network is taken care by network engineers but individually siloed environment if you want to upgrade all the infrastructure it's really like a it's a time consuming process and uh, it is also one customer's pain point so all are looking for a automated update and upgrades for to cover entire infrastructure so to address these three scenarios i repeat cloud operating model modern applications and life cycle management which is updates and upgrades to address these three scenarios vmware come up with a solution that solution called vmware cloud foundation so now let me explain you the vmware cloud foundation so what is vmware cloud foundation means now we have an idea this foundation is completely unified unified means whatever the market leading components we have we spear and sx virtual san and also we relate suit or aria suit all these products are they combined they make it as a one software stack that name is vmware cloud foundation okay so that is the reason vcf delivers seamless cloud experience for any application anywhere anywhere means it's like a on premises the on premises data center a remote data center edge location private cloud public cloud okay that that means anywhere okay now let's see all these four components we relate or aria suit all the compute vspear storage vsan network nsx all components are combined within the vcf so all are running on a one software stack and along with this four core components vmware also added a another component that is lcm life cycle manager so it's mainly for a life cycle automation of all these components and in addition customers at the end of the day they require a security for every layer so they introduce a intrinsic security also this security is comes with a nsx as well so security this nsx security is covered for all the components and in addition it, this security uh, covered for lcm we spare all layers it's covered and this complete software stack only we call it as vmware cloud foundation in short form vcf okay so this definition i will try to explain in the next slide hope you understand all these components are combined and they added additionally life cycle automation and also the intrinsic security Th this complete software stack is call it as a vmware cloud foundation and this vcf not only for on premises we can run it on a cloud environment also okay but how we can do i will explain in the following slide see now you, we can understand the definition what is vmware cloud foundation it is a software stack that integrates into a single platform so compute virtualization vspa storage virtualization vsan network virtualization nsx and management and monitoring v relays or aria see these all are comes under a one stack and automate deployment configuration and management of entire stack is taken care by vmware cloud foundation so it have all these components so it includes intrinsic security and life cycle automation and this can be run it on a private cloud public cloud and it will also help us to create a multiple virtual machines pods and kubernetes cluster and the the same point i highlighted here vcf simplifies the ongoing life cycle management previously it was manual now it is completely flexible upgrades all are the automated upgrades uh, lcm of all infrastructure resources by automating the deployment and configuration of all infrastructure resources and vcf is a hybrid cloud platform that provides full stack hybrid 
hyper converged infrastructure that is perfect for modernizing data centers and deploying modern container based applications okay this is the another way of telling the vcf definition okay and uh, still the architecture diagram is same and what are the key features of vmware cloud foundation so the key the key features include the mainly flexibility so the flexibility means more choice in deployment options across private cloud and also the public cloud and another key feature is standard this uh, vcf setup is standardized and officially vmware alignment to the vmware validated design in short form vvd so it's officially validated this combination of all the core components and scalability even in future if you let's say minimally if you want to implement the vcf vmware recommendation minimally we can start with a minimally four physical nodes that is the recommendation but even if any of the customer looking for a poc or testing and development even vcf can be implemented on two servers also two node also we can implement but recommendation from vmware minimally start with four node if the customer do not have a appropriate budget we can go with a two node also recently vmware latest version it supported for two node deployment as well and the latest version of vcf it started with one two three four and the latest version we have 4.0 one two three and currently market is running with 4.4 version and recently during vmware explore vmware officially announced 4.5 maybe publicly it will be available by this month end or this year end or next year first quarter they officially release the vmware vcf 4.5 okay and until then we can use vmware vcf 4.4 and if you want to in future if you want to add additional nodes so scalability scale up to thousands of nodes within a single environment that possibility is available and we can implement for a multiple site so guidance for virtual science stretched cluster even stretched cluster can be configured if the customer sites are less than 100 kilometers good to go with a vsan stretch cluster or else if the customer sites uh, site a and site b more than 100 kilometers we can go for a storage level peer persistence for example hpe alatra 9k model or 6k models okay and disaster recovery also possible and cross v center nsx also we can use within the vcf and another key feature is hybridity that means leverage vmware hcx hyper converged extension this is also another vmware product this will help you to migrate workload seamlessly to modernize infrastructure or to easily establish a hybrid cloud okay now let's talk about what are the key benefits of vcf so we already aware that now it can be implemented on every environment like we can run it on private cloud and public cloud and one key point here is within our vSphere, vmware introduced one feature called workload management feature when you log into vcenter go to the workload management when you enable the workload management it will allows you to configure a vSphere with tanju setup when you configure vSphere with the tanju so by integrating tanju standard within the vcf vmware cloud foundation customers can unify containers kubernetes container means we already know it's a kind of package and to for container orchestration we are using kubernetes and virtual machines we already know it's a software generated machine to modernize traditional and cloud native applications by delivering consistent infrastructure and operations in a cloud operating model that can be deployed on on premises at the edge locations and cross hybrid locations so if you see in the right side diagram normally within our vcenter server we always run a virtual machine but with this modern infrastructure what we can do is when we enable vsphere with tanju we already vcf is combined all the components compute storage network and we relay suit all these components are combined within the vcf but when we combine this one the additional benefits are when we enable vSphere with the tanju along with our virtual machines together with virtual mission we can also run a native parts or we call it as a vSphere parts can be run and we can also run a tanju kubernetes cluster together with our virtual mission so this is the modern infrastructure 
how it looks like. So normally in our V center previously we have only virtual machine, but in the latest modern architectures within our V center we can also see virtual machine, Tanju Kubernetes clusters. We can also see vSphere pods, and this is not only the, when we have a the container architecture or container based application, we have a flexibility to run on private cloud or we are flexibility to move it to the public cloud. OK, and pod means normally pod consists of multiple containers. Minimally one container or more than one more than one container. Also, we can include in a vSphere pod. Same like general generic pod and vSphere pod. OK, so now another key point is within VCF benefits. So it can be multiple clouds are completely as a unified platform with VCF. So standardized approach, same people, same tools, same process for on premises and public cloud. So we no need any additional team or additional resources to manage this VCF. So same people and the same tools, whatever we know the core component, same tools and the same procedure. Even we know the familiar with vSphere infrastructure, how to manage vCenter, how to manage virtual SAN and how to manage the NSX manager. And also similarly for VREA, VROps, VRELEDGE log inside. Some additional components also comes with a VRELEDGE suit or ARIA suit. OK, and this one we can run it on on premises specifically for data center location and edge location. Suppose if the customer's requirement is they want to deploy it on a cloud environment. So that scenario VCF is acts like a hybrid cloud. We have to use a VMC on AWS. That means VMware cloud on AWS platform. And suppose some customers, their choice is instead of public AWS public cloud, they want to use a Azure cloud. So that means they have to use VMware cloud on Azure. And some customers, they want to run on a integrate with a Google cloud. So VMware Google cloud engine. So that means VMware cloud runs on a integrated with Google cloud. And here VMware cloud integrated with Azure. Here VMware cloud integrated with AWS and in general these three are the most popular clouds. So VMware cloud on public clouds only platform embraced by all top cloud providers. So these three are the top cloud providers. So with that our main benefits are one unified software stack and guaranteed interoperability no integration required within your on premises. But when we go for a public cloud we may use here some integration tools like HCX. And flexibility by design and no need to re-architect when your new needs arise. So we can use the same architecture for even for a modern infrastructure, modern application, container based applications or cloud native applications. Even if the customer looking for a cloud native software development, this infrastructure is supported. And another one is see as we know containers and virtual machines on the same platform. And Last but not the least, full stack lifecycle management with SDDC manager. So how we are combining all these core components, vSphere, NSX, vSAN and vRelay suite is these all controlled mainly using SDDC manager. That is also one of the feature is coming in a VCF. Using an SDDC manager only, we can perform all this. Uh, we can automate the lifecycle management for all infrastructure components. Okay. So that's it. Thank you. Please do view, like, share, and subscribe to Gnan Cloud channel if you are watching first time. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.